Trump claims Harris would convert every town into a third-world hellhole. On Saturday, former President Donald Trump accused Vice President Kamala Harris and the Biden administration of inviting criminals and warned that without large deportations, the U.S. will lose its culture. Trump criticized Harris's Friday visit to the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona, where she pledged to crack down on illegal immigration more than President Joe Biden, to a gathering in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. Trump, surrounded by posters of convicted migrants, painted a bleak picture of a U.S. overrun by violent terrorists, calling Harris mentally disabled and branding the Biden administration's border policy a betrayal of the American nation. You must return these folks. No choice. Trump acknowledged that the address was dark, even by his standards, and predicted a loss of culture, country, and crime like never before. The speech responded to Harris's border aggression and amplified a topic that has long enraged Trump's base. Immigration is a strength for him in a close fight with Harris, polls show. Trump described Whitewater, Wisconsin, as a small, very lovely town being flooded by migrants on Saturday, repeating his descriptions of Springfield, Ohio, and Aurora, Colorado, as victims of migrant invasion. If Kamala is re-elected, your community, and every town like it, all across Wisconsin and our country, the heartland, the coast, it doesn't matter, will be transformed into a third-world hellhole, he continued. Harris campaign spokesperson Serafina Chittica told Politico that Trump has nothing inspiring to offer the American people, just darkness. In recent days, Trump and his allies have attacked Harris over the 425,000 undocumented migrants with criminal convictions who are not in ICE custody they may still be serving a term in local, state, or federal jail. DHS data from previous years contradicts Trump's claim that the Biden administration allowed these migrants and most of these criminals were on the non-detained docket and living in the U.S. before Biden assumed office. In June 2021, the non-detained docket included 405,786 convicted felons, up less than 5 percent since Biden became president. This number was 368,000 in April 2016 before Trump took office, and it would rise by over 37,000 by June 2021. 152,000 of ICE's 647,000 non-detained, undocumented migrants are convicted felons or awaiting criminal prosecution, including murder, rape, robbery, and serious assaults. Traffic violations account for 126,000 of the total while immigration-related crimes account for 92,000. Migration has been a major issue in the 2024 election, with incidents of illegal immigrants killing U.S. women and girls, but research show that migrants are not more likely to commit crimes than U.S.-born Americans. Still, Trump has spread myths about immigrant neighborhoods, including that Haitian migrants ate dogs and cats in Springfield, Ohio. Trump campaign National Press Secretary Caroline Levitt told Politico, Kamala has admitted more than 20 million criminals into the country because everyone who unlawfully crosses the border and breaks our nation's laws is, by definition, a criminal. Kamala wants to pardon rapists, murderers, and other violent criminals. Trump will start the largest mass deportation ever on day one. Trump pleaded guilty to 34 counts of manipulating business records to conceal a hush money payment to a porn star earlier this year. His vast commercial fraud and sexual abuse of E. Jean Carroll banned him from running firms in New York. Three more charges accused Trump of widespread illegal activity before, during, and after his presidency.